LinkedIn channeled to 272,000, 14 months. X to 170,000, 10 months. Instagram to 710,000, 11 months. And here's today. This is the audience I've built in only two years. An audience powering two massive companies, a network of all-stars, and the freedom to work when, where, and how I want. I'm gonna teach you my three-part system to grow an audience from zero to 100,000 followers on any platform, starting from zero audience, zero budget, and zero experience, so you can have a business and life you love. Starting with level one, going from zero to 1,000 followers. When I asked you guys how big your audience was, 73.9% of you said you had fewer than 1,000 followers total. So with that in mind, Let's start and assume you have zero audience. You haven't built an organic following before and you have minimal or no cash to grow an existing business to speed things up. If so, congratulations because hey, that's exactly where I started. You're like basically everyone when they start out. The first 1,000 followers suck to get. I know because that's exactly how I started out. With no clue how to do any of this, zero ad spend, just an internet connection and a keyboard. This is what we call level one of building your audience. And there are three key moves you must make when you're starting out from nothing. First, you need to pick one channel to grow on. The biggest mistake I see people make is trying to get going on too many platforms all at once. Instead, pick just one channel that fits the following two criteria. It's fast to start creating and it's fast to start improving. First, let's pick a channel with a low barrier to entry. We don't have to go and buy a camera, expensive gear, grow some massive team, or get all these extra tools to get started. Instead, pick a channel where you can get writing immediately, a channel where organic reach is strong, a channel where you can determine how well your content is gonna go right away. This criteria will immediately throw out about half of the options available to us, which is a good thing. So here's what we have left. My top two recommendations for your first channel to grow to 100,000 are LinkedIn or X. These are the grand slam platforms. They use written text, which means you can practice your copywriting immediately. And once you get good at writing copy, you can take that skill anywhere to any platform and already have a huge advantage. Instagram and YouTube are examples of platforms that are great, but they're a little trickier to get started on. You need to spend either money or time and energy to stand out. And they sometimes require more video, image-based designs, and a bit more of a team. So start with either X or LinkedIn. If you force me to pick, I'd choose LinkedIn because the organic reach is amazing right now, so it's a lot easier to stand out. X is a lot more competitive and it requires you to already be great at copywriting, so avoid that if you're just getting started. Next, after you pick your first channel, pick one topic. When you're on your way to your first 1,000 followers, you wanna become known for one thing. It's important to pick a topic that's narrow enough that you can dominate it. But you also wanna pick a topic that is true to who you are and the people that you wanna serve. One exercise that has helped me is the Ikigai exercise. This exercise helps you find the meeting point between what you're good at, what you love, what the world needs, and what you can be paid for. So make four lists and start to populate your Ikigai with topics. The few topics that meet all at the center point are your Ikigai, your calling, and these will make up your content categories. These will be your North Star on your road to 100,000 followers. When I completed my Ikigai, I discovered my topics were systems, audience growth, community building, and entrepreneurship. So I create content focused on helping 100 million founders achieve their dreams through proven systems. And every morning I jump out of bed excited to talk about these topics because they're truly in my calling in life. Everything I create helps people understand these topics so they can get where they want to be faster. The worst thing you can do is pick a topic that you don't feel passionate about. You just end up writing about stuff that you hate. Make sure it's a topic you love and you're an expert on at a minimum. From there, you want to explore it at a deep level, sharing your discoveries. And above all else, don't pick too many topics to go after all at once. Your content category should revolve around one core idea. Ideally, you want to end up owning one word in the mind of your audience. For me, that's systems. For James Clear, that's habits. For Ryan Holiday, it's stoicism. For Ali Abdal, it's productivity. If you spread your topic too thin, your pace towards your first 1,000 followers will be much slower. 
Once you have a channel and your topic, step three is learning to succeed without a budget. The final barrier between you and a thousand followers on any platform is this. You don't know what good content looks like yet. It's not a lack of money. It's not a bad topic. It's knowing what's good and then making a little bit of that consistently. To improve, you must develop your intuition for what good looks like, specifically for your topic on your one channel. And there are only a few things that can help you discover that. First, find role models. Imitate before you innovate. You need someone who already has figured out what works on your platform and then learn from them. If you're starting out on LinkedIn, X, or Instagram, please use my social channels as your role model. I've spent hundreds of hours studying these platforms and reverse engineering what works on each one of them meticulously. And I'll be sharing the game tape of everything I know about each of these in my upcoming videos. The easiest way to jump ahead on these platforms would be to model my top 10 performing posts on each platform. I've created a detailed breakdown guide on my best posts from each platform, which you can use to make sure that you stand out. You can find that below in the description. If I had this one guide, it would have saved me hundreds of hours when I was just getting started. All that testing and experimentation I've done is all below in the description in that guide. So go down to the description of this video, right below the like button and download the guide. And while you're down there, like and subscribe to this video to help me reach more founders just like you. Step two to blow up with zero budget is to establish a posting cadence. Consistency is key, put in the reps, and if you are consistent, good things happen. The only way to excellence is through repetition. Excellence is a daily habit. When going from zero to a thousand, you're learning the skills and the language of that given platform. You don't know much yet. You know, you're just getting started. But the more reps you put in, the faster you're gonna bridge that ignorance gap. Here's my exact recommended schedule for consistency on X and LinkedIn. I post to LinkedIn seven days a week at exactly 8.07 a.m. EST, and I post to X seven days a week, twice a day, at both 8.11 a.m. EST and 2.07 p.m. EST. Volume is everything. You should post on LinkedIn directly without scheduling and use Hype Fury to schedule content for X. Above everything else, be consistent. Third, when you're growing to a thousand followers without a budget, you have to overcome your limiting beliefs. At this stage, people trip on their own preconceptions to getting started. You know, they're their own worst enemy. Steve Gutenna is one founder who came to me through Founder OS. But when we initially started working together, he hesitated to get going and growing on social media. Why? Well, he'd say, I don't wanna be famous, or I'm not even sure if I can add any value. He didn't want the exposure, and he didn't wanna come across as inauthentic to grow an audience. But after Steve joined Founder OS, that all changed. He realized he could find an authentic route forward. He started at level one with no channel, no topic, and no budget. But once he built an audience on LinkedIn, he started quickly seeing massive growth. The podcast that he started grew to over 2 million downloads in just three months. Not only that, but Steve's new SaaS business went from zero to $7 million of annual recurring revenue, which is insane. Whether you like it or not, you have a personal brand. The question is whether you're intentionally growing it. The only choice you have is whether to take control of your brand or let others decide for you. If you're consistent, you focus on one platform with one topic, your first thousand followers will happen almost automatically. Which brings us to level two, growing to 10,000 followers. Once you get to 1,000 followers, you've expanded your service area for luck, community, connections, and cash flows significantly. You're ready to now take off your training wheels. A thousand followers might have taken you a month, three months, or maybe even longer. But getting your first a thousand is often 10 times more difficult and painful than getting your next 9,000. So that's the good news. But it's also exhilarating because your rate of growth and learning is going to start speeding up considerably. And once you soar past a thousand, you can start to increase your speed by using the following tactics. First, develop your content templates. If getting to level one is all about picking a topic and posting consistently, level two is about how you post. This is when you get skilled at the art of content creation. Your goal at this stage is to refine your topics into templates. Then when you post, you know it will perform because the format itself drives engagement no matter the topic. 
to craft amazing templates, learn your chosen platform's format essentials. Each platform has its own nuances on how things perform. For example, on LinkedIn, use carousels, images, and long form text, and avoid things like polls and videos. For X, create two tweets per day at 8 a.m. EST and at 2 p.m. EST, and create four long form thread posts per week. For Instagram, treat your page like a variety show. Have a mix of talking head reels, animated reels, raw carousels to kind of give it that variety feel and keep people entertained. Post carousels and raw behind the scenes photos from your life and post five stories a day. Keep in mind that these are just the bare minimum of what's working on these platforms. I'll go into far greater detail in my upcoming videos. The key is to master each platform's specific nuances. Then once you understand the platform itself, you can focus on the infinite game, right? The universal game of constantly improving and getting 1% better every day on each platform. I've discovered that there are three universal principles to great content, scroll stopping hooks, value packed posts and engagement from other creators. These three skills are universal. No matter the platform, they are essential. Once you master them on your first platform, you can bring them to any future platforms you decide to take over and dominate. Then you can build templates to hijack the algorithms on those new platforms too. Here are three great examples of show-stopping hooks on each platform that I've mentioned so far. And I've used these time and time again to grow massive audiences. Now, notice how each template and example makes a short, quick promise, gives value, and leaves you wanting more. That's the scroll stopping hook. Mastering hooks is vital to getting to your first 10,000 followers. It is essential. 80% of the success of your content comes from the hook. So make sure your hook is captivating. Your big goal is to settle on 10 to 15 formats that consistently perform for your audience. Again, I share my top posts per platform and break down the secret structure of each of those posts that I share. Get that guide in the description below this video, and it's gonna save you hundreds of hours on your content creation. After you develop your templates, the next step on the road to 10,000 followers is to optimize your profitable profile. While your posts are the welcome mat of your social media presence, your profile page is the front door that your audience needs to walk through. A good profile has an incredible visit to follower ratio. Your starting goal is to have 5% of everyone who visits your profile click follow. But once you build up a true profitable profile, you can get those numbers even higher than 20%. For example, for every thousand people who visit my profile, around 190 people will follow me. That's about a 19% visit to follower ratio. So a lot higher than the average person, that's just 2%. Every percentage you can increase your metrics will grow your surface area for luck, which means more opportunities, sales, and top talent coming to you. Here are some things you can do immediately to optimize your social profiles. On LinkedIn, update your tagline, cover photo, and featured section. Add a call to action button to your profile to sell people on what you're about and promote your most important next step. On X, optimize your description, cover photo, and website link. Pin your best performing post to the top of your feed. This is key. And make sure that your pin post is a thread that drives people to an important lead magnet. On Instagram, pin your top post to the top of your profile, optimize your bio, and add a CTA link to your newsletter. Link your Threads account if you have one, and on every platform, get a great headshot. Not this garbage. It's pretty underrated, but it's worth it. Your profitable profile is the front door to the rest of your business. Welcome your audience in. Show your future customers what you've custom built for them. Nail your profile, it's your first impression. Step three to get 10,000 followers is making your social media truly social. Your goal is to develop a community of creators who are also all in on your platform of choice. Find people who are at a similar or just a little bit ahead of you on that platform. And you wanna encourage them to go and comment on your posts. Respond to people who post on your posts and reach out through direct messages. Once you connect, share what you're learning off platform in a dedicated WhatsApp group. You'll grow a hundred times faster having a group of peers with your back that are also helping you grow on the platform. Here's a script that you can follow to build your group of peers in a platform like WhatsApp. Additionally, schedule time to respond to replies on social media. I'd recommend 30 minutes every single morning to go and respond to the community and get involved and show them that you're active and listening to them. Some of the questions they have can also become great content topics. 
Finally, one thing you don't wanna forget from 1,000 to 10,000 followers is to establish your ConvertKit email list. Go to ConvertKit, it's the best platform for growing your email list. Create a simple landing page with a value proposition. You know, it could be a lead magnet that you already have or something that's gonna come out in the future that you're promising your community so you can go and convert them to your owned audience. Then incorporate that landing page into key spots on your profitable profile. As you grow your audience, you wanna convert followers from your rented audience to your owned audience in your newsletter. Get the audience past the front door and into your home, which is your business. This is the place where you can offer the greatest value to them. Your email list is amazing because this is the community that you actually own, and it will eventually become the highest paying part of your entire content funnel. Don't focus on sending emails yet. Set up an automatic email that tells your subscribers your future plans. You don't wanna start sending to that list until you get your main first channel cranking. Once your email list is set up throughout all your profiles, it will grow while your social media following grows as well. That's how we start turning that rented attention into owned attention, which leads us to level three, growing to 100,000 followers. Now you're in the big leagues. This is when your account starts attracting opportunities almost magnetically. You will start to connect to people that you've never had access to in your life. When you publish a post, it's gonna get massive attention instantly. Other people start using your channel as their example of social media excellence. You'll see people copying your content after you post it. And as you grow to 10,000 and beyond, you will continue to tweak your systems. Your standard for what good enough looks like will increase and increase over time. And this can end up being exhausting. And if you get burnt out, you lose valuable momentum. We wanna avoid that. That's why from 10,000 to 100,000, my one goal for you is to increase your leverage so you can get off the content hamster wheel. Here's how. First, we need to monetize your audience. Remember that email list we established? Once your followers approach 50,000 or more, you can confidently begin to monetize your audience step by step. To start, you can offer a one-time, one-day workshop to your email list. Alternatively, offer a discounted offer on one month of services exclusive to the list. The goal is to start experimenting with generating revenue from the attention that you've created. This allows you to start to create some cash flow to then increase your leverage. Then you can use what you earn and invest it back into your team and into your tools. The biggest risk from 10K to 100K is that you stop, that you give up, and then you lose all your momentum. I know because I've been there. I grew my personal brand to 1.8 million people in 18 months, but then it became too much. Luckily, I had the foresight to start surrounding myself with a core team of A players, my social Avengers, social manager to grow my profitable media empire, a video editor to create inspiring videos, a designer to help create value-packed images, and a tech lead to be the mechanic to my Formula One content engine. If you're on LinkedIn or X, I'd start with a social manager to post content for you at scheduled times throughout the day, so you don't always need to be on the schedule. On Instagram, a designer is a good hire to be able to increase the visual value of your posts beyond what you can do by yourself. And a video editor is gonna help you make some incredible reels, but you know we know making videos is a lot of work, so getting some help is gonna be useful. You likely won't need a tech lead until you're close to crossing 100,000 followers and are scaling your email list. But there are a few high leverage tools to help you scale, even if you're doing everything on your own. On LinkedIn, I use Taplio X's Chrome extension to track my analytics and discover new content ideas. On X, I use Hype Fury to schedule my content, and I use Twemex to discover the best content from my favorite creators. On Instagram, I use Figma to design stories, After Effects to create animated reels, and Premiere Pro as my all-in-one video editor. You can use these tools to discover inspiration and you can highlight the best performing content from other creators. You can schedule your content and generate original assets at a low cost. Having a team and tools means you can post more often while maintaining quality and avoiding burnout. And at the end of the day, the more you create, the better. Maintain your schedule while increasing the quality 1% each time. Do this and you'll skyrocket to 100,000 followers in just a matter of time. Using this team and set of tools, I've achieved 115% growth on LinkedIn with 166% increase in engagement at the same time. On my slowest weeks on X, I grow at 4,000 plus followers and 10 million impressions weekly. And according to Taplio, I'm the fastest growing creator on LinkedIn. That's cool and all, but what does it mean? 
It means I push myself every day to be consistent. I optimized my profitable profile. I found my icky guy and crafted content that I love. And I dedicated myself to each platform I could grow on so I could create the most epic content possible for my chosen topics. And now opportunities just come to me. My surface area for luck is so large right now that when I go to the negotiation room, people just wanna make a deal with me and it's practically closed. I don't have to convince them. Top talent and legends come to me based on the brand and audience I've built. And when I have something to sell, there's a line of people outside the door who wanna buy it because I offer value day in, day out for just free to millions of followers. If you're watching this wondering what to do next, the best platform for most people to go from zero to 100K right now is LinkedIn. It's tech space, business focus, and it's the best way to explode an audience into existence fast. That's why I created the ultimate breakdown of my entire process for LinkedIn growth in the next video in this series. I don't hold anything back, including how I use LinkedIn to add $2.9 million of annual revenue to my business. Click here to keep watching. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you grow to 100,000 followers and beyond.